Sis. Okay. Random What's your name, sis? My name is Johanna. My, my name is Jennifer, but you call me Jay. Nice to meet you, Jay. How about you, bro? Okay. If Eve really Brandon. ate the Come apple, on. why the men have Adam? I don't Adam want to get no count. That's what I want to say. If Eve ate the apple, well, let's let's get that real quick because we have to understand that this book in Genesis is a lot of allegories, all right? Like, for example, a lot of people think when there's a snake in the garden, it was actually talking about an actual snake crawling around and talking to people, all right? There was no apple, all right? Let's, let's see if there... Hey, sis, do me a favor. Can you find me the scripture where it says apple? Yeah, there's, let, let me clear that up. There's no scripture here that says that's an apple at all. That's Christianity. That's why we're out here to teach y'all. Christianity told you a lie. Right. Christianity told you that they ate an apple. That's nowhere in the scriptures. Your pastor lied to you. Just like when he lied to you when he says, let's celebrate Christmas. Just like he said, what do you say? There you go. Exactly. Exactly. We're here to bring out what the Bible says. I'm glad you brought that out, bro. Another thing is, God did not say celebrate Christmas. Let's get that real quick. Because a lot of us were brought up thinking it was okay to celebrate Christmas because that was Christ's birthday. We thought that was something of Christ. I did too for 26 years. I did. All right. But let's read what the Bible says and y'all help me out. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. Lord, not... Hold on, hold on, go to verse 1. I want everybody to know who he's talking to. Verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So the Lord is speaking to the house of Israel, which is you so-called blast in Hispanics, okay? Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. God said, do not learn the ways of the heathens. The way of the heathens is the ways of the other nations, the ones that are not like you, all right? Because we are not the same. There's different nations. There's no such thing as we're all one nation, all one blood. That's not in the Bible. Keep going. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That means going into astrology and things of that nature. Worshiping the sun and moon. We don't do that. We don't worship the creation. We worship the, cre uh, the, uh, the creator. Go ahead. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. All right, so what I'm about to read y'all is the custom of other nations, not the children of Israel. Go ahead. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. All right, it says one person cuts a tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. With an axe. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. So when they cut that tree down out the forest, it says they deck it, meaning decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. All right, all right. Let's get that. Let's drop that. Give me, um, give me, um. Um, uh, Hosea 5 and 15. Yeah, let's get that real quick. All right, so look, we're out here to teach you so-called blacks and Hispanics who you are according to the Bible, all right? We got we to gotta do better in our communities, okay? Because y'all might think that y'all are equal with everybody else, but the world doesn't see it like that. All right? Every other nation laughs at y'all. Everyone, that, that everyone comes into your neighborhoods and profits off of you. And hey, my brother, my brother with the cane. And you go to church? How long you been going to church, my brother? 40 years. 40 years? 40 years? Let me ask you this. There's 18 nations listed in the Bible. Did your pastor tell you which nation you belong to? Well, come find out, bro. That's what we hear. All right? We're here to teach you who you are according to the Bible. Right. All right? We're not all the same. Give me that. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 2. I'm going to prove to y'all that we're not all equal, and God does not love everybody. No such thing. Christ didn't come to die for everybody. We got to get that out the way. We got to. Because our pastors lied to us. Trust me, I've been told that. But then when I got old enough to look and research, you don't find that in the Bible. 14, the start of verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 1. Look it up. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Speaking of the Israelites, it says, Ye are the children of the Lord your God, being very possessive. Go ahead. Ye shall not cut yourselves. These are laws that were given to us, the children of Israel. Because we just came out of dealing with the Egyptians, which are not our people. Go ahead. Nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people. God says you so-called blacks and Hispanics are a holy people. Holy means to be set apart. Holy means to be separate. All right, go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. To him, to him only. Go ahead. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people Unto himself. He said we are a peculiar people. And when you look at that word peculiar, it means to be strange, odd, or different. So out of 18 nations, 
that one nation Israel is going to be different from everybody else. Right. All right, we're going to get into why they're different. But go ahead. Above all the nations. It says what? Above all the nations that are upon the earth. I like that verse because it says nations. God says we are above all nations. All other group of people, God put you above them. No such thing as equality. If there was such things as equality, either everybody would be in the ghettos or everybody would be well off. Right. But we know that's not the case. Why is it that our people suffer these things? Why is it our people have the worst, the worst schooling? All right. The worst water, food deserts, no grocery stores, um, crime in our environments. Why do we suffer these things? Hey, my brother, come over here. Let me show you something, man. We're going to ask these questions. Why is it that our people suffer these things? All the high violence in our neighborhoods. I can tell you. Come on. Hey, come on now. Are no, you good, bro? You good? You think you already got all the answers? You remember? You got the answers, don't you? No, no, you good. We dealt with you before, man. Let me tell you. No, Listen, no, no. we come to bring our people back to repentance. All right? Because the laws of God is what's going to clean us up. All right? Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. I love that part. He's speaking about a nation being a holy people unto him. Go ahead. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people right. unto himself Let's go. above all the nations that are upon the earth. So you are supposed to be above everybody, but we fell away from God's laws, and that's why we suffer today. All right? That's why we're all confused. We can't get on one accord. That's why we're trying to look for a leader to rise us up, but he don't keep the law, so it's going to fail. All right? The laws of God are perfect. Nothing's going in this Bible. Nothing in this Bible. It's flawed, okay? Right. Now look, my brother, my brother with the child. Come over here and learn who you are according to the Bible. You overlooking me though. Brother, we dealt with you, have we not? No, we haven't, you haven't Let me ask you a question. Have we dealt with you before? No, no, Hold on, no, 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 no brother. Wait, wait, yes wait, or no? Wait, no, 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 you don't tell me to wait. Wait. Yes so or no, have we dealt, no, 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 listen to me. Over here. No, I didn't tell you to come over. You did now, just look, say come over. Listen, did we, did we address wait, you already? Wait a minute, Twice already, did we, yes or no? Did we address, give me the, um, give, me, give me Luke 9. Wait, wait, Is it Luke 9, shake the dust? Give me that. Give me 17, 26. Is it Luke 9? Give me, Give me that, because he got to hear this one. My you brother, come over here real quick. I'm going to show you Give all going to the Bible, okay? The we got to clean this stuff up, man. We got all these Give women out here half naked. We got fathers out here allowing their daughters to be out here half naked. That's prostituting your daughter. Made in the beginning. All right, read that. Nudity is what God nah, made in the Give beginning. Me, uh, give me, um, Give me 17, 26. 9 to 5. 9 to 5, thank you. 9 to 5. Give me 17, 26. Yes, sir, Luke 9 to 5. 17, 26. The book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 5. And whosoever will not receive you. When you go out of that city, right. shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. There we go. We dealt with you already, bro. Hey, my sisters, my sisters, y'all come over here. Come learn your history according to the Bible because you're God's chosen people. God loves you over everybody else. All right? We have to stop all this nonsense. That's what I'm talking about. We got this man speaking madness. Christianity, Christianity is, is nonsense. All right? You don't even know Greek. My sister, come over here real quick. Let me show you something. It says because God says you're the best thing ever walked blood. this earth. All right? You're not equal to nobody else. Let's get some laws. Give me Deuteronomy 23 and 7. Is that it? Prostitute that daughter. God made from daughter. one blood all nations. Um, don't let nobody tell you nothing different. 23. 19, God made from 19. one we'll get that nation. One first. Get that one first. One blood. That's another one. So it's he made all people. Yeah, get that for What they're telling you. All right, so is listen right now. True. We're to clean up our neighborhoods because we're the only ones that's going to do it. Right. My question back. is, why is it that every time we come out here, we got a road I'm scholar that comes out? out we only got a road scholar I'm that comes out. There's always one. The but then when we leave, they don't do shit out here. They don't do nothing I'm for their community. Right. When we leave, they go back day. doing the niggerish stuff they've been doing. When we come out here, they want to come up against us, the people that's preaching the word of God. It doesn't make any sense. Let's go. The book of Leviticus. You want absolutely nothing. You don't do nothing for your community. Let's go. The book of Leviticus chapter 8. What do you do for your community? Go. Go. Everybody out here that know me yes. knows that we just had We don't know you. What do you do? What do you do? Go. What do you do? No, no. What do you do? Go. 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 Everybody out here knows right. that with our organization, we give back to the kids. Okay. We get back haircuts. We give no, I think that's good. They give them haircuts. All right? But now what else do you give them? What else do you give them other than haircuts? Go. We give backpacks to kids. We give monies to mothers who are Money raising children. We raising afford children. Okay. grocery drive right. to stores for women with children. Okay. They have no trip. We also give vehicles. Okay, good. So they give them groceries, book bags, vehicles, cool. Now, 
After they use that stuff up, what do they do after that? What what comes next? Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. This is what's going to clean up our community. It's not a book, man. Go ahead. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. That's going to do much more than a book bag can ever do. All right, teaching the laws of God is going to do much more than a book bag, a crayon, uh, uh, some money. Because money goes. Money comes and goes. When you get somebody money, they're going to spend on something wicked. They're going to commit sin. Read that again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to yeah. cause her to be a whore. It's for you men to stand up and to take your house back. Right. Tell your daughters to cover up. You right. make your daughters cover up. They shouldn't be right. out here butt naked. You don't have right. be like that. Tell your wife to cover up. Right. Ain't no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. That's what you do. That's how you clean the book community. Right. You take the care of your family. Of you right. clean your family up first. All right? Keep going. Lest the land fall to whoredom. Lest the land fall to what? Hoarder! Because a book bag's not going to make the land stop from falling from hoarder. Right. Teaching your daughter to cover up. A, Teaching that she's a precious thing to the Most High God. Right. That's what's going to clean them up. Teach. All right? They don't understand it starts with that. you men, though. You men got to stop prostituting these daughters. You, you men got to stop holding you, you, these women out. All right? Let's go. Give me, give me Exodus 22 and 16. Because we got a lot of that. We got a lot of stuff like that, all right? We got to get that. A lot of us think it's okay to sleep around from woman to woman to woman. That's not okay That's according the to the culture, Lord. Sir. That doesn't make sense. That's the culture. That doesn't make sense at all. God and my brother, come over here real quick. I'm going to show you, you something. Call people over I'm going to show all y'all according to the Bible who you, know the Bible, who you don't are. Don't book, all right? Man. That doesn't make sense. Let's go. The book, the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. Bring it out. And if a man entice a maid, let us not be troved and lie with her. If a man spits game to a woman and he lies with her, what should you do? He shall surely endow her to be his wife. If you lay with the woman, that woman is supposed to be your wife. All right? No, no, You're not supposed sorry, to be brother. sleeping around going from woman to woman no. to woman. Right. Because what did that spread? One thing, diseases, Every right? You get a disease that, when you brother. sleep around. Right. Another thing, baby that. mothers. Right. More baby mothers. Abraham uh, had a baby look, mother. We got, we got all these people out here Abraham with no father in the mother, household, brother. growing up without a father. Abraham had That's a, a baby terrible mother. thing. Let me keep going. Is it not? Abraham had a baby What do you say? What do you say? Hey, man, stop it, bro. How, 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 how do we know that we are the children of Israel? Come on over, bro. Let me show you something. Deuteronomy 28. No, no. Hey, Deuteronomy all right, so listen. And in Christian church, we're taught that everybody's the same and that the Jews are the people over there with the curly hair and the, and the, and the hats, right? That's what we're taught. But when we look in the Bible, we can see that's not true. My brother, what's your name? We're talking about Bible. Brothers be sack surfing. Brother, brother, come over here. The wrong teaching. Come over here, brother. Y'all over here trying to translate the book. Have you ever heard about the Israelites? You don't know what that is. You go to church? Yeah, I go to church. How long you been in church, bro? Long Okay, so you remember the story of Moses leading the children of Israel out of uh, the Pharaoh, hands of Pharaoh. Okay, so those are the Israelites, right? We're going to show you that you just sin from the same people, Hebrews, okay? Brother. All right. They were not Let's go. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, Hebrews. verse 6. I'm going to show you something first, bro. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's okay. get that. They were not called Hebrews. I'm going to set the stage. First, I'm going to show you. Hebrews. Hey, my brother. Know, my brother. My brother. His, the Israel yet. Right. My brother. My brother. You think you don't know? My brother, you got a question? Brother, we from Africa. You would ask him, ask me. We from Africa, brother. You want to deal with me? You don't even know. You're American. Let's go. Let's go. You don't know the scripture. Check this out, though, because in church, we were taught that everybody's equal, right? Christianity. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord oh, thy right. God. Speaking about the no, children of no, Israel, the same people you talked about. Israel. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, right there, did it say equal to everybody? Read that part. That are upon the face of the earth. Did the Bible say that the Israelites are equal to everybody? Or did it say below everybody? What did it say? Above all people. Is that equality? Yeah, that's equality in Hebrew. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that equality? In, in Hebrew. Huh? In brother, Hebrew. He said above. Uh, uh, hold on, Hebrew, okay, brother. okay. If somebody's above somebody, that equals. I don't know Hebrew language. It depends on which way. Right. So tell me which way. Tell, give, me, give, me, give me some material. In scenario. Hebrew, man, it's Halas on Moon. Give me, give me Joel 2.27. We can do this. We're going to do this. Joel 2.27. We're talking Hebrew. So what? A person could be above a person in knowledge, right? And right. So he's better than right in knowledge, right? right. Okay. So that means better than right. Right. And he gave a specific thing. He said above all people, right? Right. Okay. Then let's go. Joel two twenty seven. Right. The book of Joel chapter two verse twenty seven. Oh, so we do this, man. We we know well, the Bible. Let's go. And ye shall know that I male am in the midst of Israel. Israel. God said He's in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. 
and none else. What did that just say, bro? Okay, now let me tell you in Hebrew. Brother, I'm not talking. Means. Brother, go ahead. Well, he'll tell you what it means. I'm gonna step he back. Said, read that last part again. Watch this. You think he? And know? ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, he and that I am the Lord your He's God, and none else. What does that mean? I'm the Lord, your God, and none else. He's in the midst. Look. He said he's the midst of Israel. Right. He said right. Go ahead. I'm in a special location. Go ahead. He, he just said he's, he was the God of the Israel. Right. Right. Who are the Israelites? They're every person that Who? breathes the air. People. Right. So he's their God and none else, right? That's what he just said. No. He means Did he not just say that? In Hebrew, it means to be Did worship. I just say that? Brother, you don't know what that means. Amos so 3 and 1. We keep on going. It means the, the, to be the Bible does not contradict itself. No, brother, this this right. is the best part about it. Y'all come and learn your history. Y'all go on the old hey, listen. of the Bible. So called blasphemous fans come and learn your history according to the Bible. To your God told the, the people we're going to share your history. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Brother, who is that he's speaking to? Oh, children of Israel. Who are you speaking to? Who name did they take on? Let's go. Who name did they take Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. He said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's the, what does that mean? That's a, okay. Keep going. Let, let, Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So is he dealing so with other nations? So can I ask you a question? Yeah, you ask your questions, bro. Okay, so, so, give him the mic, give him the mic. No, no, no. What you want, let's go. Those people are the only people that he knew. Was it really the only people he knew? That's what the Bible says, yes. No, no, that's not what it says. Correct, correct. No, that's not what it said. So who created everybody else? The Lord God, give me answer. Me, uh, the who? Second address. Let's get that. Who did? I like, that's a good question. Get second address. That's a good question. Because he created everybody, right? Watch this, watch this, let's go, let's go. I mean, so did you hear what it said? Did you hear what it said though? Canada. It said he's the Lord, he your God, and what? None else, correct? No, no, that's what does what that mean? Said. The prophet said that. What does that mean? So, I mean, you, you gotta take it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What does it mean? He asked that's you what I'm question, asking. brother. Why are you trying to reverse it? It says, I am the Lord, your God, and none else. I'm asking you, you what does that mean? You ain't answer his question though. So, so. You ain't answer his question, brother. Let's get it. Go. Second Ezra now. Y'all brothers, six, six, it's debasive um, too. The book is Second Ezra, chapter six. <laughs> brother, you don't love us because you don't keep the commandments. I do keep. You ain't saying nothing about these women being half naked out here. Go ahead. Nothing to do with that. The book. God made them. Give me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. God made hold on. nudity. Give me Isaiah fifty-eight verse one. Oh, I can't stand when people that. do this, man. I'm, I'm, Isaiah fifty-eight verse one. Hold that Ezra though. We coming back to that. God made nudity. So we're not here supposed to to tell our people that they're in the wrong. No, 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 no. Are we not to come out here and tell our people that they're wrong for being in sin, right? No. First of all. Well, this is what you do. You. All right, then. No, First but let's move with the Bible. I'm going to back it up with the Bible. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Bring it up. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a that trumpet. Says, cry aloud and spare John. not. Lift your voice up that like a trumpet and do John what? Hold on, brother. Listen. And show my people their transgression. People what does transgression mean? He says, show it my people their transgression. What does that mean? That prophecy was given to the... No, no, you asked the question, bro. Ask I'm asking now, because we got to make sure you're on the same page. He says, show your... Well, tell them to go that away. I can't go away. Tell them to go away. If you don't, no, don't want to talk to them, tell them to go away. My brother. Message, wait a minute before you go. Hey, let me where you find yourself on this sign at? That message was brought... No, I'll do it after this. Hold that, on, after this, man. You dropped your foot flat, brother. Yeah, you got your foot flat. Hold on, you with him? Y'all together? That prophecy was given to the okay. prophet. I, hey, where do you find yourself John, on the sign? Who God right told to cry loud and spare Where do you find yourself on the sign? Your father according to the sign? Too. Where's he at? They didn't read that. See, what, what do you be a so called? He said cry loud and spare Read that again. Not. The book of Isaiah 58, verse 1. And show my people their transgression. So the Bible commands us to come out and show our people the their transgressions, Jacob, right? What's the transgression? Give me a um, first John. We're gonna we're gonna bring this out with the Bible. It says transgression. We gotta tell you what it is. It's going in the sin. All right. First John chapter three verse four. Let's go. So he ain't gonna mention that. It wasn't talking about everybody. First John three and four. Y'all pay attention. Y'all pay attention to your history. All right. You too, brother. All right. The book of first John chapter three verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For Stop sin it, is the transgression right. of the law. It says, show our people their transgressions, meaning our showing people? their sins. Who is our Correct? people? Who is, who, 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 who is our people, brother? Who is our people? Right. Who is our people? The Israelites. Right. Now, 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 you know what you're talking Now we're going to show you that you're Israelite, correct? That's what the question is. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Hold on. The law was given to who? You are here. It was given to Moses to give it to the Israelites. Right. What did I got to do? That's what I'm going to show you right now. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Now let's go to verse 1, then we're going to go to verse 15. 
What? It's a first 15, the first one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. This everybody. is when Moses was, we just brought the children of Israel right. out of Egypt. He Remember? Said they in the wilderness. This is Moses. And it this shall come to pass, if thou seen. shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So God said, if you keep my commandments, if you keep the laws that I give you, he what's going to happen? That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all That's nations. Right. Of the earth. Because he said, if y'all want to keep these laws, y'all going to be above all people on the earth. Remember but we're that. not. Go to verse 15. But we're not. Verse 15. But it shall come. Hold on, hold on. You said what? You haven't said Jesus yet. He ain't going to say it. getting there, bro. Just. No, no. His he, name I'm is not Jesus. I'll ask you any question you got. I'm going to answer his first question. His name is not Jesus. No way. But But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Brother, you asked me And they read out of Hebrew and don't know Hebrew. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Now it's a flip side. He said, if you keep his commandments, no. you're going to be on top. He, he said, to if you don't keep his commandments, what's going to happen? To that Hebrew. all these curses, that all these what? Right. Curses come upon the shall Hebrew. come upon thee now and overtake you. thee. He said, the, it, the Israelites will be a cursed people. Right. All right, that's so we're going to go into the curses we to identify that's who are. they are today. Let's just say, if it's not us, let's go through the curses and identify oh, listen, who these people you are. All right, give me verse 32. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given a to another people. It says your sons and your daughters, you Israelites, will be given unto another people. Who the word another means a whole different people. That lets you know that we're all not the same. All right? Same, Keep going. Brother. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. It says you're going to cry because you can't do what? Get them back. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You can't get your children back. Now, what time did it happen to us? When did, when did that happen to people when you, when you lose your children, you can't get them back? So, the Bible says you well and you weak. Hold on, hold on. I'm just asking you a question, bro. I got to make sure you... Yeah, all of this really happened to those people because, you know, you can ask you a question. Okay, right. So, I'm asking the question. Hold on, hold on. I'm asking the question. Judges, right? right? What's up? People of Israel. They ain't gonna listen to you. Bagel. It's a bagel. You got to put them in so much, uh, what you call it? Captivity. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. So, you know what I mean? Right. Okay. You know, the whole book of Judges is like that. Okay, good. Right? Acts 17, That's because this passage here was given to them and they, they, they didn't fulfill all the laws of God. So, we agree then. So, it's on the Israelites, correct? What did this mean? So that's what I'm saying. The curses are on Israel. Yeah. Right. We're saying the same thing. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.